be good here. Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Nick here, and um, yeah, I do a lot of Twitch and uh, tech stuff on YouTube. Wait, sorry, I do a lot of tech and coding stuff on YouTube and Twitch. So check the description; you can find out anything about me. But I'm doing a lot of Le I'm doing a Lee code series where I go through every problem and explain it as I learn them and just do them in general. So. Um, this is one of those videos. So this one is an airy tree post order traversal, right? And there's a lot of tree problems I've been doing and I think tree problems are really easy. Uh, if you go on lead code, you can just go through them all really quickly. There's only like 20 or something like that. There's barely any, maybe like 40, but, uh, should be pretty easy. So, uh, there are a few, um, known traversals for trees. Uh, and some of the main ones are in order, post order and pre order. And I just learned about this a minute ago and, um, what pre-order, post-order, and uh, in-order traversals really mean are the order which the left, right, and root, the left subtree, the right subtree, and the root are, uh, you know, traversed, right? So in a post-order traversal, the root will be traversed last. So the root's going to be the last thing, you know, outputted here, right? So we see one is the last thing. In a pre-order traversal, the root would be at the front of this list. And uh, in an in-order traversal, it would be in the middle. The, you know, the route would be processed in the middle, tra uh, traversed in the middle of this. You know, I, I don't know if that makes sense. You should look it up on your own to really understand it. We just went over it. But um, so if you see what it, you know, in post order, it should, we, we should see, you know, we have five, six, three, right? Five, six, three, two, four, one. So we got left subtree, right subtree, and then the root. Um I think I think the I, I I don't remember it was a minute ago, but uh, I think the right subtree is always after the left subtree when we're traversing in either in order, um, pre order or post order. But I think post uh, order I, I think it's just depending on where the root gets traversed, right? So this algorithm is not too bad. Uh, all we have to really do here is implement a stack, right? A stack of nodes. We have a node, and the node has children, right? So one's children would be three, two, four. Uh, three's children would be five, six, right? Makes sense, right? So we're going to have a linked list to implement our stack here. So a uh, linked list of nodes, uh, and we'll have linked list equals new linked list, right? Uh, and this is going to be called stack because we're going to use a linked list to implement a stack. There's a few ways to make a stack, but this is the one we're going to do. And our output is going to be a linked list of integers, right? Uh, this one's going to be called output array for now, right? Equals new linked list. Shouldn't be too bad here. Uh, and then the first thing we're obviously going to want to do, you do this in almost all algorithm problems in some way, shape, or form. Uh, you're going to want to check if something's equal to null. In this case, we all we get is a root node, which is our tree. Uh, and then we're just going to, you know, obviously if the root is equal to null, we have no tree, so we have no output really. So we have an output array that's initialized to an empty linked list here. So we'll just return, we'll just return our output array. Pretty standard. Uh, next thing we're going to want to do is add our root node to the stack because we know that the root node is uh, not null and that's good enough for us. So we'll add it to the stack. Uh, we will now loop through the stack by checking whether the stack is empty or not. So while stack is not empty, this exclamation point means not and we're doing this in Java obviously, um, we'll pull the node from the stack, right? So all we have to do to do that is, you know, node node equals stack dot pull last right there. Um, and then we will add the nodes value to the output array. It's, and we're not going to add it to the end of the output array. We're going to add it to the first part of the output array. So it's output array dot add first. There's a method in the linked list called add first in which we can add the value, which is an integer value to the beginning of our output array, right? So as you can see, one is going to get added first to our array, right? And I can explain how this works in a second. Um, in stack.pull last, that's how we, you know, actually have our linked list called stack uh, turn into a stack because pull last is gonna pull the top, the you know, the the top of the stack basically, right? So, I, you know, I, I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but uh, let me just finish implementing this and then we'll try and do a final explanation here, right? Uh, then we're going to loop through the uh, node dot children, right? Child, this just loops through all the children. So if we were at three, this would loop through five and six, the five and six value nodes. Um, and then we're going to add these to the stack and it'll repeat the process until we've traversed the whole tree, right? Uh, stack dot add, uh, just child, right? 
very easy and then all we have to do is actually just return our output array and our output array is going to look exactly like this if we run the code it should work uh, should be great here uh, just give it a second sorry my wi-fi is pretty bad yep there we go output is expected just as we th wanted um, and then we will submit it and we'll, you know, we'll see accepted here 22.53%. Uh, leak code for some reason bases its runtime sometimes on Wi-Fi. So we might see, yep, different percentage here. So don't always be discouraged by, um, you know, the, the faster than percentage here. Cause it's not really there, very accurate. Um, so we uh let me just explain this one more time so we have two linked lists and one of them will be implemented as a stack one of them will be just a list of integers uh we add the first we have the root if it's not equal to null and then while stack is not empty which it won't be until we traverse the entire tree we pull the last element of the array which is just going to pull the top of the array you know basically the last element of the array is the top of the stack that's why it's a stack because as we put things into the array you know the last element would be like the top of the the stack right and then uh we're going to be adding adding the value of the that's we pull from the stack to the first element of the array each time so in the first case it would be one would be our root because if we look at the description one would be our root um we add root to the stack right here so the stack is literally just a node with a value of one um you know no then we pull last the only element is one so we pull one one is equal to node then we add one to the array so ones get added to the array so that's just the output array is just an array of one and then we go through the children three two four right three two four we add them all to the stack the top of the stack is now going to be four and then we pull four da 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 da, -da. keep going four is next element two three five six five um that's pretty much it and i'm gonna do uh pre-order and in order too so uh, if you guys want to see those, check it out. But uh, hopefully I did an okay job at explaining and uh, you kind of understand how it works a little bit. I highly recommend going through all the tree problems. I think you'll get a really good idea about tree problems if you just go through them all. I'm still learning as I go uh, and I'm still trying to get better at explaining these. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitch and whatever. And just uh, you know check out the description and see what else uh, if you if you thought this video was good. If you thought the video sucked, comment below and you know maybe I'll take your advice into consideration. Maybe not. Uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a good one.